So everybody wants to save a few dollars and smell the best they can and get some good positive attention. You know, a lot more people want to smell great than you would think. So in this video, I've got 10 great affordable compliment getters that I want to talk to you about. So stay tuned. Starting with one that does not get much attention these days, but is still fantastic nonetheless. I'm talking about diesel, only the Brave. That's right, the awesomely cheesy fist with the diesel rings bottle. It's a strange design, I get it. But the juice is great on the inside. So definitely has some real strong citrus going for it up top. It's a little ambery slightly powdery and floral but nothing feminine here very easy to wear a little on the synthetic side but pleasant soft powerful yet a soft and relatively smooth scent uh, one that definitely can garner you a lot of attention that's not an overly powdery fragrance when i say it's a little powdery i l literally mean just a little bit powdery just the right amount to where it won't really get clawing on you in the highest of heat but it also works really well in the spring and the fall also and hell be honest with you i think it'll work well in the winter in certain situations also but definitely can work great in the warmer weather when it gets overlooked sub 30 dollar range will get you a 75 ml tester like this right around 30 bucks from most places online discounters ebay wholesale stores places like that don't overlook this when it performs it smells great and it definitely gets some compliments it's diesel only the brave tried and true when it comes to a mass appealing cheap compliment getter not too many can do it better than coach for men at least in my experience this stuff just works it takes some of the ambroxan appeal of blue fragrances that preceded it the dylan blues of the world sauvage still has some of the citrus appeal of a blue de chanel while kind of doing its own thing but still being kind of a shower gel scent at the same time it's got a juicy pear up top a beautiful suede note of course there's some salty ambergris here as well there's a little kumquat kumquat to go with that pear for that juicy fruitiness that's up top it doesn't smell like everything else but isn't super unique at the same time because it is a mass appealing shower gel type of scent but this is on a different level from, say, something like a Davidoff Cool Water Wave, which is one of my favorite cheap shower gel type of scents. That smells much more like just a basic shower gel, whereas this smells more like a blue fragrance, essentially. Even though the color's not blue, don't be fooled. Definitely a blue fragrance and a delightful one. You can get 100 milliliter bottles, sub $40 range, 30 some odd bucks. 60 ml like this. 30 maybe even a little less than 30 depending on where you find it not a beast in performance but it definitely has a strong ability to garner some positive attention in the five or six hours that it'll be on your skin really gets out there in that first hour hour and a half and that's where it can really do some damage is pretty much in that first two hours and when i say do some damage i mean work magic for you and again that's coach for men the original while Versace Mano Fresh is known to be a strong, citrus-heavy compliment getter, we're on more of a budget than that here. So we're going to get pretty much the same scent, with pretty much the same result, for half the price, with a Zaro Chrome Sport. A summertime piece of cheapy gold, to be honest with you. Oh, man. Super aquatic, mega fresh citrus, but still a little musky a little fresh spicy it has enough character to not be super basic but well-rounded enough and fresh enough to not be something complex or challenging or garner a chance at somebody not thinking you smell good because I, I just can't imagine that with this and when you find this at the rack stores it's gonna run you 20 bucks for this hundred milliliter bottle Discounters online right around 25 and it's a bargain. It's a cheapy gold bargain. It's great for the heat. It was built for the heat. It's basically Versace Mano Fresh in an Azaro Chrome Sport bottle. It's almost a one-to-one -one smell. It's almost spot on with the same performance. Five-ish uh, five hour range roughly. Light and airy. Really gets out there in the first two hours. And like I said, it does the same job 
for about half the price because for a 100 ml of Versace Mano Fresh, you'll spend in the neighborhood of $40 from discounters, 40 some odd bucks roughly for half of that in the half of it range. You can get a fragrance that does pretty much the exact same thing. Don't pass it up if you see it for a great price, Azaro Chrome Sport. While there's a lot of cool water flankers out there, one that's been hitting the rack stores lately that's just a steal, they've been showing up for around $17 for a 4.2 ounce bottle, is the Collector's Edition Aquaman Flanker. And what's different about this one is it doesn't smell like all the other cool water flankers, where it's not just some super aquatic beach vibe fragrance. This one's kind of like a peppery orange type of smell, if you will. Dark woods, it's got some guaiac wood in the base. It's got this almost boozy appeal, even though there's no boozy notes. I don't know if it's maybe that tarric smokiness of the guaiac wood mixing with the pepper and the orange, but it's a simplistic note breakdown. You do smell all three of the notes. It blends pretty evenly and pretty well balanced for the most part. It's not too citrusy, it's not too spicy, it's not too woody. But I think that Tarek smoky nuance that the guaiac wood offers is what gives it that difference, that, that strangeness that's a good strangeness, if you will. It really adds a little bit of depth to a fragrance that would be overly simple if it was just something like a cedar wood or a sandal wood instead of a guaiac wood. And like I said, it's popping up super, super cheap, average performer at best, nothing special in performance, but it projects pretty well for about an hour and a half and it will get you some attention. It definitely will. I would say if you want something that's a little bit more interesting than Cool Water or Cool Water Wave, maybe get your hands on the Aquaman Flanker. Designer fad fragrance of yesteryear that still smells incredible. You get past the design because Ed Hardy had its heyday. You know, this was my signature scent for a long time. I'm talking about love and luck. The infamous cheap alternative to Creed Millicene Imperial because it does have a lot of similarities. This is definitely better, at least in my opinion that is, than Sean John Unforgivable because that's another one that gets the similar to Creed Millicene Imperial tag. I find that's much more soapy, whereas this is much more citrus and fresh spice, if you will. I find this resembles it a little bit more. And this is super cheap. A 100 ml like this, you're gonna find for under $20. You'll spend less on this than you will on Sean John Un Unforgivable for a similar size bottle. Even less if you're going to get a one ounce or a 50 ml. You can get one ounces for like eight bucks. Super cheap. I actually have a sealed one ounce bottle sitting over there on the shelf. This stuff is lovely. Not a beast in performance, but it does project pretty heavy. And in my personal experience, I've gotten many compliments over the years with this exact bottle. This bottle is not anything new. I've had this a long time. It's lovely. I'm going to spray it one more time. It's a really good fragrance. Overlooked because it's an Ed Hardy fragrance and nobody thinks of Ed Hardy anymore. But don't let the cheesiness of the bottle, if you find it to be cheesy, because at one time that was cool looking. <laughs> but don't shortchange yourself. Give it a chance. It's very cheap and you'll probably love the fragrance if you love Millicene Imperial style scents. In my opinion, this is one of the best cheap alternatives out there. Definitely has gotten me many compliments over the years. Love and luck, Ed Hardy. An Invictus Aqua style fragrance always does the trick if you're looking for something that's gonna garner you some positive attention. They all smell good. There's a ton of them out there. There's a few of them that have some similarities to it in this video, starting with Hollister Wave 2. If you want some positive attention on a mega budget and you like them super fresh and easy to wear, just those easy to like summertime scents that get compliments. That's the simplest way to explain this fragrance and that's exactly what it is. It does have decent performance for what it is, believe it or not. 50 ml like this, $15 or less. $20 or less for a big bottle, depending on where you find it. They pop up at the rack stores all the time. The original, this one, and Free Wave. But if you're looking for the one that's got those similarities to Invictus Aqua, it's definitely wave two. Look for the gold cap. The gold cap is the tell. Granted, the glass color is different and all that too, but the gold cap's the easiest tell for wave two. This one's delightful. This one has gotten me a few compliments in the, you know, two handfuls of times that I've worn it. I've probably gotten four or five compliments out of that. Um, it's definitely good for it. 
because it's easy to like and easy to wear. It smells like Invictus Aqua. And Invictus Aqua is definitely a strong compliment getter. And this is nothing short of that, just on a hyper budget. That's Hollister Wave 2. One of the strongest compliment getters of all time is Giorgio Armani Aqua de Gio. And a cheaper, spicier version of that, a lot of you know where I'm going with this, is that strange looking Perry Ellis 360 red bottle. Yes, the bottle's weird. It's odd, but the fragrance is awesome. It performs better than what it smells like. It performs better than Aqua de Gio. It's much, much spicier. It projects a lot heavier in that first hour. It's really, really strong in the first hour. I mean, really strong. Then it starts to taper off a little bit, but I do get every bit of six to seven hours out of this one, which is, for most people, better than Aqua de Gio performs, which kind of similar to what I get from Aqua de Gio. Honestly, the woody notes in Aqua de Gio hang out about that long before it becomes a skin scent for me, but I digress. You can get this super cheap. 50 ml like this, 15 bucks. They pop up at the rack stores, discounters online, places like that. It's been talked about to death over the years because it's such a good, cheap way to smell like Aqua de Gio. It's one of the best cheap ways, if not the best. But there's no denying it. It's still great. It's not played out in 2021, in my opinion. This is less played out than original Aqua de Gio is, to be completely honest with you. And uh, definitely get some compliments. It's known for being a compliment getter. Perrielis 360 Red. So here's another one of those Invictus Aqua style fragrances I was talking about that's kind of in a league of its own when it comes to getting compliments. And when I show you which one it is, a lot of you will understand where I'm coming from because I know a lot of you have had or currently have this fragrance. I'm talking about Mont Blanc Legend Spirit. I'm, I'm scraping bottom. I wish you could, the light would shine through and show you the juice level. It's way down there. Um, I think I'll be able to get a spray out still. There we go. It's got a fizzy grapefruit up top. This is actually, my opinion now, better than Invictus Aqua 2016 in scent quality. Doesn't perform as well. But as far as the scent, how much I actually enjoy how it smells, I like this more than Invictus Aqua 2016. Not the 2018 to current. That's my favorite fragrance. Nothing tops that for me, for me anyways. But for $30 or less, depending on the size bottle you want to get, it's a compliment machine and a little white bottle with an aluminum top. Really is. It's a fizzy, really just bright, juicy grapefruit. It's got this watery quality. It's super aquatic. It's light and airy and ozonic. It really gets out in the air. If you're upwind from somebody, they're gonna smell you real easy. If you're in a well-circulated room, they're gonna smell you real easy. Strong, strong, strong compliment getter. That's super cheap. I hope they never discontinue this one. I, I keep procrastinating getting a bigger bottle. For a long time now, <laughs> I need to get another bottle. Um, 200 mLs just look weird. I'll probably get a 100 mL, but this stuff's tried and true as well. This is a strong, strong compliment getter. I have to stress that one more time. If that's what you're concerned with and you want something that's just a joy to wear, super easy to like, it can be your damn signature scent. Don't hesitate to check out Mont Blanc Legend Spirit. A cheap alternative for Dior Homme Cologne. While not a beast in performance, it's quite loud in that first hour. People will smell you and there is a high probability of getting a compliment with Jimmy Choo Man Ice. This stuff is lemonade in a bottle. The Jimmy Choo Man Atomizers are some of the best on the market. And then that scent profile, man, is some fresh, slightly woody vetiver in the dry down with just this grapefruit lemon blast that hangs out for a while. It really does. It's very, very, very easy to get airborne. It's super light, very, very aromatic, and it just works. I just cut, it's all in my face. I can just spray the back of my neck and for an hour I smell it like it's right in front of my face. It projects really heavy in the first hour, from my experience anyways. And you can get 100 milliliter bottles around 30 bucks, 50 mLs like this in the low 20s. 
Um, rack stores, they're going to be higher priced than that, so be weary of buying it at a rack store. But discounters online, that's the way to go to get this one. It's a summer superstar, especially if you like just super mega citrus bombs. I'm telling you, glass of ice cold lemonade. Don't pass on this one if you've yet to get your hands on it. Jimmy Choo Man, ice. Last but not least, one of the strongest cheap summertime compliment getters of them all. Some of you that watch me on a regular basis are probably wondering why has this not been on, in the video? Well, have no fear. First Instinct together from Abercrombie & Fitch is here. One of, if not the most hyped fragrance on this channel. Because I like to smell great on a budget. That's my thing. That's why a lot of you watch me, because you like to do the same. You will smell great on a budget with this. Invictus Aqua meets First Instinct meets a little dab of YSLY. I get about five hours in longevity, but it's really strong in the first two. That's where the magic happens with this one. Super strong compliment getter. I have multiple bottles of this. I don't want to run out ever because I spray more than I need to when I spray it on. And I wear it pretty regularly considering the size of the collection that I have. For me to put this much of a dent in this bottle already, it says a lot, really. Um, it's one that, if nothing else, I like to wear it out the shower just sitting around the house. It's enjoyable. I love the scent profile that much. And based on my experience, it's a magnet if you're looking for some positive attention. This stuff is really good for it, especially in that first two hours. If you want somebody to stop you and ask you what you're wearing or tell you you smell good, the probability is going to be really high with this one. Is it a guarantee? No. A compliment with any fragrance is not a guarantee. But the probability, the probability is much grander, in my experience anyways, with First Instinct together. They pop up at the rack stores all the time. 15, uh, 20 bucks will get you a 50 ml. 25 bucks will get you a 100 don't hesitate. First instinct together from Abercrombie and Fitch. Well, that's the 10 I have for you today. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, because I do appreciate all the feedback. Love hearing from you guys. What in this video do you have already? What have you had great success with? And getting some compliments at work, at the grocery store, the doctor's office, whatever. You never know when it's going to happen. But it's always nice when it does happen. And these are some bargain bin fragrances that do the trick. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of the fragrances I featured here today and you give them a spray now, I'm pretty confident you'll thank me later. Have a good one, guys.